found that building. We found that building on Craigslist. Damn, Craigslist has been like everything Bro, for you. Craigslist <laughs> has been everything for me, dude. I bought a PSP from Craigslist <laughs> one time. I had to meet this guy behind a gas station in a weird alley. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That was the last <laughs> time I used Craigslist. Military and um, what is that? All the way to highway? Uh-huh. I think no. I just said yes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 f- I forgot the street. But that reminds, is it true that you you would sleep at your smokehouse? Yeah, and the yeah. two M's. Yep. Yeah the uh, the first year um, covered we, in smoke or what? Yeah. Dude, how did you survive that? Like, I, it I, was okay. So it was. It's funny you say that because it would get rough sometimes. Um. It's comfy, I know. I know. My wife picked it out. It's nice. I like it. <laughs> Dude, if we go too hard, that's what's <laughs> Just cameras is rolling. Um, <laughs> How great would that be? <laughs> we just pass out. <laughs> so yeah, and then and then they just fucking passed out for forty nine <laughs> minutes. <laughs> they came back. They came back. <laughs> what were we talking about? You come back. Levanta <laughs> dijo. We're working way. <laughs> Get up, fool. We're working, fool. <laughs> My hair's shaved. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah, so, That's really, really cool. But never again. Never again. <sighs> I, better not, hey, hey, hey. I better not fuck up. No, no, no. Uh, but enough about me. Uh, this, this is all probably going to get edited out. <laughs> That's not it. That's not a pound. I'm like, I have a scale right in front of you. <laughs> like, Dude, that's I'll me. zero it out. I'm I'll a- put it again for you. <laughs> You're talking about those people. I am those people. I am those people. But I know. I'm like, <laughs> uh, yeah, a pound. A pound ain't what it used to be back in my day. <laughs> Neither. Did you? You know how to swim? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> That's a random question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. How do you think I got here? <laughs> <laughs> We're going too hard, too fast after this. I know. I feel like this episode ended at like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> we're still <laughs> at this point. We're just hanging out. <laughs> you up? <laughs> I am. Working on these briskets, man. What do you want? I am. <laughs> you know I am. What are you doing? <laughs> going too hard, too fast. <laughs> Thanks for that. I got, I got sensitive ears. <laughs> do you really? Nah. Oh. <laughs> No, but I'm going deaf, so I don't matter. That's what my wife says. So that I'm, that you're I, going deaf? Yeah, or that I, 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 I don't hear certain things right. My wife tells me that outside. I told her that's just guys. I think so, too. Or like, or like, I just like watching movies with the, with the sound, though. <laughs> you know? So do I. <laughs> and I and the Netflix, we're going deaf, I'm, dude. I'm convinced that Netflix, whoever mixes their audio, doesn't do it correctly. Because the... The, the music is always louder than the dialogue. So you're right. So I'm you're right. Like lowering it, it for when it's like action movie. Uh, I'll lower it, and then when they're talking, I have to write, bring it back up. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Netflix. <laughs> Remember Blockbuster? <laughs> Dude, I used to love Blockbuster. <laughs> Blockbuster. I mean, there was all there's no, not there was nothing else. So that's all you could love. How old are you, Jorge? Um, thirty-seven. Jorge. Jorge. Okay. Yes. You're thirty-seven. Uh, thirty-seven. Yeah, man. So you were. I'm thirty-nine. So we were definitely around in the blockbuster era. It was fucking great. Uh, just make sure to keep the mic close to you. Okay. Um, but let me know when we're when. Well, we started, so I guess oh, this, is, this is gonna be like the weirdest <laughs> intro. <laughs> Ever, but uh, hey, welcome to Two Hearts Too Fast Podcast. <laughs> in this episode, we're in Castroville, Texas. Uh, it's just a short drive from San Antonio. It really is a short drive uh, from it San Antonio. Is. People say that all the time. It's, like, it's just a, it's a short drive. And it's like an, an hour, hour, an hour, hour later. later. <laughs> <laughs> like, especially in Texas. But um, no, it really is. It's about 20 minutes. And I'm kind of like in the center of, of San Antonio. Um, I think it was about 25 minute drive at yeah. best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would say that. Um, my house in the south side, from there to here, it's about thirty minutes. But Petranco's twelve minutes from yeah. here now. Yeah, it depends I mean? which route you yeah. take. Yeah, depends which route. Um, but we're in Castroville, Texas. We're at Blue Lacy uh, Smokehouse uh, with Esaul from Esaul Ramos. Esaul Ramos, yes. Um, you might know him from Two uh, M's Barbecue, which is located in San Antonio, and you would know him from. 
you know, your talent ha- in food has been almost gone. Well, it's been national. Like, you've been on the Food Network. You've been on Netflix, mm-hmm. uh, Tacos Chronicle. Yep. Um, something else that I'm missing, but I know I looked, I saw those two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, uh, we've been, we've been, we've been blessed to be on a uh, on a couple of different uh, platforms. Like, uh, uh, we're we just got put on Hulu um, on this show called Barbecue Quest. So we we have an episode on there. Oh, it's cool, right? Like. I, I, I don't know, man. To me, I'm just like, wow. This is, this is I'm just, I'm just living life, yeah. man. I'm just going with it. Dang. Well, I'm, I'm surprised <coughs> I missed it. I, I was trying to research everything, and I, most of it I had already seen it before, but I was, I was rewatching uh, stuff, which is how I, I, I think I learned about you from the Netflix Taco Chronicles um, when they were talking about two M and your barbacoa that you mm-hmm. make for that, and I, that was a long time ago, right? It, yeah, it, that it feels was, like a long time. Yeah. Um, so that was, I don't, I don't was it 2020 or it, I'm it, no, it might have been 2021 um, that they came out and filmed that mm. that film for Netflix. Nice. I want to say it was 2021. Well, that's how I I, I want to say that's how I started knowing or learned about you. But you know what? Well, we're gonna learn more about you right now in this episode. <laughs> and um, so sit back, buckle up. Let's go too hard, too fast. Hey. This is S.O.O. Ramos. I'm co-owner of Blue Lacey and Tomb Smokehouse, and I'm going too hard too fast. Let's go, baby. Barbecue. I haven't done this in a while in a podcast. So, What's that? Uh, oh. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, the like, old school. T- Thanks so much. No, man. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Um <sighs> I mean, this is like old school, too hard, too fast. It, it, we, ha- we haven't been along, around for a long time, but a lot of, has changed from too hard, too fast, big early beginnings. It's always been too hard, too fast, right? It's always, yeah, never changed the name. Yeah, that's it's, awesome. Um, it's just, it, it's a name that just rolls down, rolls down, just like the beer rolls down off your tongue. <laughs> down your no, throat. <laughs> but it, it makes a lot of sense. Like after you told me, like it makes, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, a, a, it's a great name. It's a term, like, for people that don't know, it's a term that... Um, Yes, it means like you, you're, you're rushing or you're you're not enjoying your time. So it's a term to remind yourself, even though it says too hard, too fast, I'm going to go too hard, too fast. You can do that. Or it's a reminder to slow down because you're going too hard, too fast. Slow down, enjoy your time, uh, enjoy the moment. And that that's true with barbecue, man. You got to slow down. You can't rush that. No, no, you can't. Which is funny, right? Like, uh, <clears throat> I think barbecue is the only thing that I I am really patient with. Like it's the only time that I do slow down. Yeah. Other than that, it's just like, oh, oh. other than that, I'm just <laughs> too constantly, hard too, fast. too hard, too fast. Other than that, I'm just constantly going. Um, and then now, like between restaurants and then the wife's bake shop and stuff, like I feel like it's just amped up even more. It's craziness. Yeah. Have, have you always been like that? Or is it? Yeah, man, I have. Um, I blame my father. <laughs> it's not in a bad way, but like, uh, you know, just growing up, it's kind of just always like, andale, andale, andale. like, I'm almost, I'm almost like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no time to slow down. Like, there's no time to be tired. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's just always been like that. So I've always just kind of had that mindset. So I'm always just on the go, man. Physically or your brain? Both. 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 Because I, I have this thing where I know my brain's going all over the place. Like, and, and, um, like, it's just, like, constantly thinking of what I want to do, what I need to do, what I have to do. And then, but my body also says, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't, I don't mind. I, I don't mind just, like, I think I have a good balance to where I can I can say, this will be done here. And so right now I have today to just watch and do nothing. I see I what you're just saying. Just sit back and relax or enjoy time with family um which is good because uh before like when before i had a kid um i i definitely did not think about that like i just thought about the next thing the next thing the next thing but now i have to think about now i gotta spend time with family you know because it goes by so fast i yes um we we don't have kids but um i tend to believe that if we did that would slow me down it has to right I'm like if you want to be a good parent too, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, man. I mean, but you, I guess you, it says like we say we we have to, but 
Uh, there are people that it's not, and it doesn't make like I guess I don't know if it makes you a bad parent or not, but there's people that are just constantly busy. Um, I don't know. I guess it's a weird balance because I I know friends that grew up with like really busy parents, and they thought you know they sounds like oh my parents are the best, but I guess they have to set that time. Like it, it sounds it sounds ugly that they have to schedule in time with family. Um, it's but it's just the world we live in, right? Like everybody's constantly moving. Um, we don't we don't really live in that. Like uh, the husband goes to work, the wife stays at home, raises the kids, right? Like now it's you have both parents going to work. Sometimes you just have one parent, so it's like I I get it, right? You got to pencil in your kid, yeah. like all right, I, I'll give you two hours on <laughs> yeah, Thursday. <I> guess. <laughs> Like, hurry up you're you're cutting into your time it's rough like it's wild man like uh uh don't get me wrong i i I think about that too right like it's 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 one of the things i worry about sometimes like i'm like imagine we did have kids like i don't want to i don't want to fuck up this kid you know what i mean because it's so simple to just to 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 do that to to unknowingly not i guess give them the attention that they that they that they need or you know what i mean but i think i'm lazy uh, uh, i guess well what helps is that well, yeah, the busyness. But I think what helps me is that I'm, I'm genuinely a lazy person. <laughs> <laughs> so, I so, see what you're saying. Yeah, you know, I, like, like it's so I easy. Love it. I have to like talk myself up into like, I'm going <clears> to <throat> do something. And, and my wife will be the first one to say like, when you set your mind to something, you're going to do it until you do it or you, you fail at it. Um, but I'm also like just a, a lazy person too, where it's easy for me to say, oh, well, I don't have to today. I but see what if saying. I have a deadline, it's gonna get done. Right, you right. Know, it's uh, I'll probably get stressed and all that, and and be working on it the <laughs> night before, like, uh, like in high school. But um, it's gonna get done, and it's gonna get done to where I feel confident that it's okay, that it's good. Um, but it, it's super easy for me to say that it's uh, I can be lazy. But that's what always um, what I admire about people that have their own businesses and. This is why I love talking to people that do have their businesses because you guys are on the go a lot. Um, and, and I always wonder if the person is just a, a go-go person or a person that just is able to um, manage their time well. So, I, okay. So, I'm just as lazy as the next guy, right? But I, it's like... I guess I've just been programmed to just not, like, I just override that, mm-hmm. right? I would just be like, ah, just leave that for Monday. And then, like, the rest of the week, it's just like, go, 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 right? And that's just the way I am now. Like, uh, I'll walk fast as I'm walking. My wife's like, slow down. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I remember when when we first started dating, um, and then um, we hung out or whatever, and one morning we woke up, and I... I I didn't know I did this, but I I wake up like a bat out of hell, right? Like I just wake up, I'm like, oh god, okay, we gotta go, like like boom, you know what I mean? And it wasn't until she was like, where, like where, are you, like where are you going? Like where is the fire? I'm like I, like I got stuff <laughs> I gotta do, and she's yeah. like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I guess nothing right now, right? And she's just like, yeah, like stop, like calm down, it's fun, it's 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 do gonna you, be fine, like like calm down, you know what I mean? Do you feel like you have stuff to do? Cause like, yes. Well, <laughs> but, <laughs> but like in the sense like because it's 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 a never ending thing like you know, obviously you want your business to always be here um i guess what i what i'm wondering is like how do you understand when when something needs to get done and when something doesn't need to get done because you're your own boss um <clears throat> There's not like somebody setting deadlines to you no. to tell you when to do it. You're right. setting your own stuff. Like right. how do you how do you balance that out? Um, I guess well, time management is big, right? So like, uh, um, thankfully, I'm really good at managing my time, um, and that's only because of barbecue. Like barbecue has been able to because and, and well, I shouldn't just say barbecue. I should just say running a business, right? Because as I'm going to work, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this first. I'm this boom, 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 right so i start prioritizing everything so that's just kind of how i do it i'll prioritize what needs to be what's the most important to least important and then but along the way i jumbo everything together so then i end up trying to do everything 
you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I, I stop prioritizing just like, okay, let's just get everything done. But then it just becomes a mess sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything gets done, but then it, it's, it's, there's a bit of a shit show in there somewhere. Yeah, and then you're yeah, just yeah. like, all right. Do you write lists? Uh, no, I, I make mental lists. Hell yeah. I make mental lists and uh, <laughs> <laughs> the older I get, the more my memory starts yeah. letting me yes. down, dude. I'm like, fuck, I forgot to do this. Yeah, my wife writes stuff down, right? Yeah. But and she's like, "You should write it down." I'm like, "I should do a lot of things, man." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like recipes, like I'll, I'll work on things in the kitchen, and I'll people eat it. They're like, "This is really good." I'm like, "I don't remember what I did." Oh dang, dude! They're like, "Write it down," and yeah. I'm like, "I think I like I kind of remember." You know, when you start yeah. putting things together, it never comes out. The same. That's hard. That's hardcore because uh, I've I, I've talked to other chefs before and other people other. Um, people that work in the food industry and ever they all say like they have to write it down uh most of them say that um have to but i can't i can't imagine especially with barbecue dude, like there's there's so much stuff that can go wrong and 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 so much stuff that can go right but you only learn from making those mistakes that's yes. like the, the golden rule i guess with barbecue er, forever that i've heard is like you're only gonna learn by making those mistakes yep um, but I am such like I feel like I'm an all right cook. Like I'm not I'm not gonna own a barbecue joint. I'm not gonna have my own restaurant. Um, but I'm like eh, I can I can dabble. I can yeah. I can I can feed my family and they won't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but but my wife was like, "What did you do?" I was like I have no idea. I just put stuff together. You know, I found this seasoning. I didn't know we had it, so I threw it in there. Yep. Uh, and she goes, "Well, what seasoning?" Like, I don't know what it's called. It's just it's that red one. <laughs> you're not wrong <laughs> no man i do the same thing sometimes you know what i mean like uh um sometimes i just make dishes and what is this i don't know what it is like you know what i mean like this isn't a like this isn't a particular dish that yeah. i made like this is just something that i threw together i don't know what to call it i don't know what it is yeah. but it tastes good so those are the best know? ones too. i agree i agree because then um when everything's like too cookie cutter it starts um it starts to taste boring. I agree. Yeah. So I, agree. I, I think um, when you start messing around with things and see what works and what doesn't, that's the best. Um, even at home, like if you're if you're just a, a home cook, um, just you know, a dad trying to not get McDonald's again for the hundredth time. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I mean, it's funny. Like I didn't. I wasn't. <clears throat> I wasn't raised in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Like. Um, I watched my grandmother cook growing up. I watched my mother cook growing up. Um, great cooks, great flavor palettes, which, I mean, I inherited those flavor palettes because it's what I try and mimic, right? So it's yeah. like what I try and recreate in my dishes. Like, I'm like, no, oh, it's missing that flavor, mm. right? But I wasn't, a, like, I wasn't the kid that was like, I want to be in this. Like, to me, it was just like, oh, yeah, like, their food gets done in the kitchen, right? And then life would just go on. Yeah. And then it wasn't until I, it wasn't, honestly, man, how it all started is my father, my father would cook for, I mean, growing up Hispanic, you know what I mean? Like parties every weekend, mm-hmm. right? My dad invite toda la familia, right? Yeah, Everybody. Yeah. So you're like, okay. Um, as the night goes on, people are having a good time. So, meat starts getting darker and darker you know what i mean yeah yeah so that's kind of how it that's kind of how it went man uh and then so one day i just told my dad i was like hey can i just start cooking i think i was like 14 or 15 oh nice. and um he was just like yeah like whatever you know what i mean it's chicken it's fajita it's mollejas whatever yeah. whatever it is that we were cooking at the time so i just i just started messing around with it and then from there i just i just fell in love with it but i i, I was never like i want to be a chef or i don't consider myself a chef i mean you know but I didn't go. I don't have a culinary background or anything like that. I just fell in love with this cuisine, and then I just try and make it the best that I possibly can. Yeah. That's interesting. Then the how young you were when you asked your dad for you to take the reins on the on the grill. Cause I was tired of burnt chicken. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I, just, I remember, and I feel like this is genuinely probably everywhere. Like, dad, dad is the one that you know is in charge of the grill. When it's time to cook out, right? It's it's dad, uh, right? For the most part, uh, I mean, I'm general generalizing here, right? Um, but it's also like um, like it's 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 seen like you're you have to earn that responsibility. Like that's not gonna be like, all right, man, just you go ahead. Right. And do that. It's like I don't I, I don't like at least my dad was like I don't want you to mess anything up. Right. 
Uh, so I don't remember when I actually started cooking uh, or grilling, but uh, I remember it was kind of like getting my driver's license. Okay. Like once once I got my driver's license, my dad was like, all right, man, now you're giving me rides. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> over here. Uh, it was kind of the same thing. Like, okay, now you've, yes. got, now you've got control of the grill. You've proven, your pro- you've proven that you can do it, and now you're cooking from now on. And you're not wrong. No. You're not wrong. That's kind of how it went down. Um, and it's funny you say that about driving because that's how it would go. Um, before I got my driver's license, like, because I, I started, he threw me in the vehicle at 16. And <clears throat> it's funny because my dad tried to teach me, right? But that went that went south quick, right? Because it's just like, what are you doing? Get over here. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm, well, I'm driving for the first time. So I, I don't know what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah. Um, it wasn't, it, my grandmother is the one that taught me how to drive. And she doesn't know how to drive. Oh wow! So uh, <laughs> she just she put me in a, in a, in a big old van. She had a she had a big old um, uh, van at the time, and um, she was just like, "All right, get on military, and you're gonna you're gonna take me you're, you're gonna take me to my doctor's appointment." I said, "Okay," and she spent two days with me on military, and then two days on the highway. And the whole time, the only reason I did great is I didn't want to kill my grandmother. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to get in a wreck right now. I was like focus 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 and yeah sure enough she was just like stay in this lane and you know go this way go that way go that way it was it was cool it was cool but but once i was able to do that yeah it was like we're at my aunt's house or whatever my dad's like hey you're driving at night and i'm just like yeah okay sounds yeah, yeah. good you're cooking and driving <laughs> you're cooking and driving. you know what you can start paying the mortgage in this house too. when you when you started grilling um is this is is this something or or anything to do with barbecuing? Did, is this like oh this is where I'm gonna go with my life or no, not at all, man. Is I just it? it was just like maybe this was a fire. Maybe I'm maybe I'm an arsonist at heart. You know what I mean? Oh, I love, dude. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Um, I love I love spending time like near it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, I, no, it. it at the time, I didn't think that that's what I wanted to do forever. Maybe we shouldn't say arsonist. We should, we'll say pyro. There you go. Because you there haven't you burned go. anything down yet. This is this <laughs> is very well. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe burned a few briskets, but not not a building. No. <laughs> <laughs> have we? Have we burned some briskets, man? Oh my god. Oh um, no. Um, it, I I wasn't. It's not what I was focusing on, right? Like to me, I was just a kid that found a hobby mm-hmm. right and then from that hobby it turned into an infatuation and then from that it turned into a career um i still love it right but it's just like sometimes it becomes a job so you got to tell yourself like hey like this is this is still mm-hmm. something that you love to do you know what i mean like you can't like just don't see it as ah, i gotta come and <laughs> cook briskets you know what i mean yeah so and 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 sometimes I do. Like, I'm not going to lie. I've, I've been doing it for so long that sometimes I come in, I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, you know it's a I mean? human thing. Like, it's a human thing. And then, and then, but then I used to, I used to be a bus driver for the city of San Antonio, right? For and Via? For Via. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so anytime I get that way, I just walk outside of my smokehouse and I stare at the street for a while and then a bus will come by and I go, nope, I don't want to do that anymore. So I just go back in and, and, and everything's <laughs> fine. I'm like, yeah, this is great. What I'm am I, again. what am I complaining <laughs> about? <laughs> I did. I did see that uh, you were a bus driver, and then you ended up working at um, a place in Austin, um, which we won't name because you know they're not on the podcast. Yeah, they're not on the podcast. <laughs> huh? But uh, that you that is, is that where you learned like how to craft? Uh, it's it's where it's where it's where I finally like. It's where I finally uh, the last puzzle piece got put in. You know what I mean? Like up up until that point, I had been every weekend. I mean. Dude, I would work for two things and two things only. And that was buying meat and going out with my boys. That was it. Right? It mm-hmm. was like, okay, we're going to go have a good time. And we would, man. We would go. We'd have a good time. I'd get back. I mean, sometimes we would go out. I would go to HEB buzzing, drunk, buying briskets. Too hard too fast. Going too hard too fast. 
buying briskets <laughs> and i'm like we're cooking these tomorrow and sure enough man like it, it's it was it's the only thing i lived for it's the only thing i loved at the time and i don't i regret none of it like it was awesome dude and um and then from there i just i i started getting better at it right yeah. um youtube wasn't around so i had to watch like tv shows and like i would pause things or like um just kind of be there like looking at things i would go to the library and read books um and there was this show on tv called uh, uh barbecue university there was this guy named steven reichland and he would he would he would just teach you what he was doing right he would grill stuff i would watch him and i would just kind of mimic that um and i always felt like brisket was always this like mythical meat that was always hard to to cook and things like that and growing up in san antonio uh, there was there was good barbecue but it wasn't like to me i was always like there it has to be better it could be better and then i went to austin and and i tried some places and i was like yes like so you're saying austin barbecue can be better than san antonio or used to be better than san antonio 100 percent, really 100 percent. it was it was just different right they like they unlock this other that's controversial right this other, i know i know <laughs> but i mean san antonio's never been you know known for like huge yeah. don't don't get me wrong it's not that i it's not that there wasn't good no no you can backtrack now oh, no 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 no, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna stick to what i said but it's not that there wasn't good barbecue yeah. it's just that austin austin had figured it out yeah austin had figured out just just what what we didn't right so to me i was like okay yeah this is possible and then uh lost my job at via and then that's what forced me to go to Austin and I was like okay you know what I'm gonna I got on Craigslist um and I f- um there was there was a, a barbecue restaurant that I wanted to work at I got on Craigslist and turns out that that they were hiring at the time so I went ahead and and I called them up and I applied they said no position had been filled so I came back and um a week later they called me up and they were like hey you want to come and and be a cook like because at first I was like, I'll do anything. I'll mm. be a janitor. I'll do anything. Yeah. I'll I'll clean up the parking lot. Like I don't care. I just want to be around it. You know How what old mean? were you? Uh, that I was twenty. Let me see. Cause I remember my wife was thirty, so I was probably like twenty-seven. Oh wow, okay. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, yeah, around okay. there. Like I, was, uh, I, I imagine you were kind of still like young. I don't know why I was thinking twenty-one. I was like, this is a very mature. No what man, I was I was uh, I joined Via when I was twenty one. Okay. Yeah, I was there for almost six years, and then uh, after that, I I went to. Okay. No, no I was just thinking because it, it's like for someone to say I'll do anything, like it's a, it's usually a very mature way of thinking for somebody that's young, uh, or uh, a person that's older that says I gotta work, I gotta well, I gotta pay some stuff. So when I was when I when I was. Um, when I was working at Via, I, I applied at, at every single barbecue restaurant in San Antonio. So you were already mindset that that's, oh, what, yeah, man. that's what you wanted. Yeah. To so I, I, I want to say this is probably high school. Well, I met my business partner, Joe, um, uh, my best friend at, and, um, he was, he was real into barbecue as well. And so was his dad and his dad had a ginormous smoker. So that was the first mm-hmm. time I, I was able to start cooking on something that was a lot bigger than, the water heater my dad you know converted yeah. <laughs> into a into a cooker at and in yeah. our backyard um and then that was the first time that i got introduced to something like that so that was really really cool so at, around that time is when i was like yeah man like i want to do this like i don't i don't want to i want to work for myself i want to do what i love right like mm-hmm. why not uh, school doesn't breed entrepreneurs so i was like uh i i, I just knew that that's what i wanted to do yeah that you already that did you have any background on like owning a business? None, none, none. So you just, still you know, to like, this time. I mean, still to this point. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, but you're learning from it. for sure. I mean, for you're sure. now two businesses. <laughs> We're two. I, 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 you know, we've learned some stuff. God, I hope we've learned some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, two M, two M has been very uh, successful. Um, you know, I, I was looking through through some of your background, and um, actually, I found that on your wife's uh instagram um who we're gonna talk to her in a future episode uh but um for her bakery Mm -hmm. um but in her instagram and it's funny we're recording uh on the month where you're it's gonna be about eight years since you did your first pop-up 
uh, for two M's twenty sixteen. Yep. Right. Yeah. 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 That's, that's really cool. April. Yeah. April. April yeah. So yeah Damn, time. dude. <laughs> I'm pretty good. <laughs> I, didn't even, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. At the time of recording, that uh, that's uh, it's gonna be almost eight years. Uh, so, dude, it's it's from from seeing from from going through that. It was like uh, from going through that Instagram. You can see the from the integration where she would take pictures of you. Kind of just barbecuing in the back, uh-huh. and then to like posting, hey, first pop up, to posting, we just bought a our property, yep, and then you're fixing it up, yep, and then boom, it just starts rolling from there. Dude, it was wild, man. Um, <laughs> finding so, so we went, okay, so, uh, okay, where are we at? So lose a job, move to Austin, commute back and forth. I commuted back and forth for a year. Last year, um, I rented a house there, stayed there, left came back called joe and i was like hey man let's let's do the barbecue so we did it um found that building we found that building on craigslist and uh then craigslist has been like everything bro, for you craigslist <laughs> has been everything for me dude it's it's so wild um it, it's i mean i bought all my equipment off of craigslist like that's i mean i did a lot of things with craigslist man it, but this is like I height bought, of I craigslist bought, you know yeah, what i mean i bought video games from craigslist <laughs> <laughs> I bought a PSP from Craigslist one time. <laughs> I had to meet this guy behind a gas station in a weird alley. <laughs> it, I love it. That was the it last was a, time I used Craigslist. Bro, you're uh, like, why did we have to meet in an alley, bro? Like, yeah, we could have met at the parking lot of yeah, a Walmart. Or right in front of the gas station. Why <laughs> have to be in the back of the gas station? But when I opened up that PSP, I realized why. That PSP was full of porn. Oh, <laughs> man, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it looked like it was, it looked like it was uh, downloaded. Uh, but also, like, maybe it's, like, people that he may have known. Luckily, every, everything was uh, overage. Like, it was, you know. But it was, like, I'm trying to play. It was, like, oh, I'm going through it to see if there's any, like, downloaded games or anything. I'm, like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was, like, this is the last time I'm going to use Craigslist. And it, did. it was, I never used it oh again. Oh, my God. You're a European cuckold. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> yeah. No, no. I was it was scheduled well uh, and the time before that I bought a video game I don't know what it was f- uh, for what system or what but I had to meet the person at a uh, at Dave and Buster's and I thought it was an adult that I was buying it from I bought it from a 10 year old kid <laughs> no, I'm serious no. the mom was there the mom okay. was there and so like I didn't just meet up some random kid but uh it was a ten- uh, he's handing me the game and I look at the mom and I go I, I give I give her the money and she goes like in points, like Damn. Give, it, give it to him. I'm like, here, <laughs> starting him off young, dude. And I'm just like, I'm leaving. This is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> my hands were in my pocket the whole time. I'm yes, out of here. But luckily, it was like right in front of Devin Buster's, and like all public was like it was the, it was super weird. I was like, <laughs> but the mom was like, give, him, nope, give it to him, which I respect. You know that was yeah, yeah, showing. Yeah. But I was like, man, you know, there's a lot of sketchy people. There's a lot of sketchy people, but, man. God, uh, there is. But yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, we we found the building on Craigslist, <laughs> and um, he wanted to sell it. Mm. Uh, my landlord at the time wanted to sell it, and um, we didn't have that money. Uh, I was like, man, I don't. I'm I'm just I'm just a guy Start trying enough. to trying to make barbecue. Mm. And sure enough, he was like, okay, he's like, well, what do you want to do? And I was like, I, well, I want to make barbecue. You know, this is my plan. This is what I'm thinking about doing. And he was just like, okay. He goes, give me first and last month's rent. He goes, can you give me first and last month's rent? And um, I could, but it's all we, like, it was going to dip into what we had saved up. I was like, fuck, man, if I if I use this money for that, like, I, I don't have money to buy equipment. <clears throat> I was with my cousin at the time. She had just moved from California. She had sold her house. And um, she she gave us the money. She Because she was there with me. I was like, hey, mm. you want to go look at this property with me? I was like, you know. She was like, yeah. And we went. And um, she she heard the whole conversation and everything. And then we were, we were driving home. And she was like, hey. She was like, I'm going to give you the money. And I was like, nah. I was like, nah. There's there's no way. I was like, don't don't worry about it. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Like, I'll, I'll go mow lawns or something. I'll go, I'll, I'll go get it. Yeah. You know, I'll go get another job. Like, it don't, it don't matter. Um, but she was like, no. She was like, no, 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 no. She goes, uh, here. She goes, um, just pay me back whenever you can. And I was like, okay. And at the time, 
I didn't have a job. My wife, my wife didn't want me to get a job. She was like, don't do it. And I was like, why? She was like, because you're going to get comfortable with the money. She goes, and you're going to stop doing this. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. So then she, I mean, dude, my wife worked three jobs. It was, mm. yeah. Yeah. It was really, really, it was, it was amazing. Um, she worked three jobs and then uh, we started working on the property. I, I, I gave him, I gave him the money and instantly, I mean, I became, well, me and Joe, like Joe would come. So Joe had a full-time job. He has a family, right? Mm-hmm. Both of us had a family, everything. I'm like, hey, man, quit your, quit your good job. <laughs> hey, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Let's go yeah. do this. Let's get risky. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go make some pennies real quick. <laughs> and he was just like, yeah, he was just like, I'm in, man. Like, like I'm in. We always talked about it. He's like, he's like, I believe in you. I think, I think, I think what we're going to do is really good. So I was like, okay. So for me, it was a lot of pressure. Like, I was like, you know what, man? I have people that believe in me, and I, I, I'm gonna give it all I got. Like I knew I was gonna give it all I got, but, at, but you're in the back of your mind, you're always like, ah, this, this could not work. Like no. this could, you know what I mean? So thankfully, no. Um, but anyways, we. When did, when did those doubts kind of start slowing down? Or do you still have them? I yeah, I was gonna say I don't think they have ever stopped. No. Um, don't get me wrong. Like um, I'm very I'm very proud and appreciative of what we've done. Like we've come a long way. Like the fact that we're going on our eighth year is is impressive, right? Like uh, businesses don't make it past the first three, three years, five yeah. years. You know what I mean? And it's like the fact that we're going on eight years through a, through a through a through a pandemic, you know, through all those things. Like, and then I mean, just everything else along the way. Like so much things that people never see in the background, right? And I mean. They're not supposed to, but yeah. it's just, you know, the fact that we're still around that I'm, I'm very, very blessed and super happy about that. But yeah, man, every now and then I'm like, ah, this is, I could show up to work today and no one's going to come, you know? Yeah. Well, it's kind of like you said earlier when we were deciding where we were, where we were going to film this. It's like, man, today could be a really packed day or it could be a very chill day. Yep. Uh, you just don't know. Yeah, I, then- I don't, especially Sundays, man, especially in this town, right? Because it's a very Catholic driven town. So... A lot of them get out of church and they could just go home and spend time with family. You know what I mean? Or or they'll be like, no, let's go to the restaurant and spend time with family there. So I'm, I never, you, you never really know. I don't know. I grew up Catholic and uh, the first thing out of church, <laughs> first, even while in church, we're deciding what we're going to, where we're going to eat. Not what, where we're going to go eat. <laughs> so bad, right? <laughs> Me too, man. It was so bad. There was always, it was always my grandmother, right? Because like everybody's, and she's just like, get it, get it together. Like you're in the house of God. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> but then you look around and I'm like, yeah, but everybody's talking everybody, about where they're yeah. going to go everybody's, eat. Yeah. And you know they're all going to go to the same spot, so you're going to leave You're gonna leave quick. <laughs> Especially in a small town. You're not wrong. Dude, I'm from a small town. Everybody saw a church at the, at the 10 o'clock mass was going to be at 11 at the, at the restaurant. <laughs> you know, and, and they're going to go. You're going to get there first, girls. You're going to be waiting. So with the south side, uh and don't go after 12 ma- o'clock mass because then you're not getting a seat. You're going to be waiting forever. You might as well eat lunch or dinner already. <laughs> you're not wrong, man. <laughs> you're not wrong. Everybody would always go to Taqueria Mexico on uh, military and um, what is that? Olorado Highway, uh-huh. I think. No. I just said yes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 f- I forgot the street. But anyways, it was right there. Everybody would show up there. I would just crack up. I'm mm. like, oh, man, we're going to see everybody from church here. Yeah, I can imagine like a lot of people would come here to Blue Lacey right after, right after church. It's right in front of us. Really, there's a church. Yeah, man, it's, it's directly oh. right in front of town. Like you walk out, it's directly right in front of us. No wonder I felt like a little bit of like, hey, little like a judgment <laughs> 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 on the way here. <laughs> I hope you did because we're laying it on real thick, dude. Yeah, I was like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh man, Saturday was mad for me. No. What did you do um, last night? Actually, I didn't do it. Really? No. What do you usually do? I was surviving from Friday. Friday. What did you do Friday? You went too hard too fast? I went a little too hard too fast. Damn. Yeah. But it, it, it was by myself too. Like I was just like, uh, I had slowed down like on on, uh, on my drinking a lot. So now I'm like a super lightweight. Uh, <laughs> and so ever, anything, like I'm still recovering. It's Sunday now, you know, and I didn't go that hard. <laughs> I think if anything, I've uh, I've upped it. Yeah. Like uh, I want to try and go as hard as harder. You know, what I mean, way faster, way it. harder. I want to <laughs> outdo it. Um, well, now with a full bar downstairs. No, no, you no. Can't no. Get, you can't no. get high on your own supply. I can't, man. Yeah. I can't. Um, I'm not gonna with, lie. Yeah. The first the first week, a hundred percent did. I was like, 
off on the nerves. I was like, bro, so. this is why I have it. Like, <laughs> it's like, I'm going hard in the paint. Yeah. But uh, after that first week, I was like, all right, all right. I got it out of my system. Yeah. Like, it's cool. I, I own a bar. Like, it's yeah. cool. But no, let's now structure back this. To business. Structure this out of a gun. Like, let's make some money or something, you know? Speaking of getting high on your own supply, like, do you, how often do you enjoy your own barbecue? Or you try not to? But besides the taste, the tasting, like, quality control and things like that. Every day. Right. Yeah. So like uh, every day I try and um, I don't try, but every day that whether I'm at 2M or whether I'm at Blue, um, I'll go in there. I'll get two ounce, two ounce ramekins of all my sides. I'll get a slice of all the meats and stuff, and then I'll just try them, you know. But um, that's quality control. No? That's quality control. As far as me coming in here like, ah, oh, give me a half pound of this. Let me go sit down and enjoy it. Nah. Nah. nah, yeah, nah. That's what. <laughs> that's what. That's what my. That's what the other barbecue joints are for. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go enjoy their barbecue. Do you? Do you find yourself that you can actually enjoy it, or do I you can. find yourself uh, critiquing? Um. Okay. So naturally, naturally, I'm gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna critique, right? You're like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, this looks good or whatever, but. Um, because I know that all the work that goes into it and because I know a lot of these guys and how passionate they are mm-hmm. and how amazing they are, what they do, I, I enjoy the shit out of it. Like, I love it, man. Like I eat it and I can, you could, you could taste the hard work that's gone into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you could taste the creativity that these guys put into things. And I, I genuinely enjoy other people's barbecue. And I mean, by now you're actually <coughs> pretty well known, uh, or you, or, you know, people can recognize you from different, from different uh, platforms, uh, uh, um, yeah, every now and articles, then. things like that. Yeah, every so now when then. you walk into these barbecue joints, they're like, "Fuck, that's a wolf here." He's gonna, gonna judge. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, nah um, maybe I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. Um, for me, every time I see one of my peers, I'm always excited, and um, it. I don't want to say I try not to. It, it's not like I'm in there like, oh, I tried. like, no, no, man. It's 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 not like that at all. Like, I just get a tray and I'm just like, this looks really nice. And, and maybe I'll just be like, oh, I think they overcooked that or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's about it. Uh, take a picture. <laughs> take a picture. <laughs> uh, One star. Instagram it, yeah. Um, actually, speaking of Instagram, I was, uh, I, was in, I was in Eagle Pass, my hometown, and they just right now have a barbecue place that has gone has been going viral. Um, we won't name it because they're not on the podcast. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I love it. But it's Eagle Pass, and there's not very many things. <laughs> there's not a lot going on over there, so people can easily guess uh, which one it is. But um, their stuff is good. But <laughs> I was uh, I Instagrammed it, and I saw that you saw it. And I was like, ah, shit! I'm supposed to record with them soon. Is he, he's gonna be like, dude? You trying other people's stuff? You're, <laughs> you're cheating on me already. <laughs> you want this relationship to work? And this is how you're gonna start it out? Yeah, so you're promoting somebody else's meat. <laughs> no, man, that's awesome. No, um, on the contrary, man, I love how much attention barbecue's gotten. I, uh, I think it's, I mean, it's it's blown up. I want to say it's, it's the most popular cuisine in the world right now like in terms of like all the, like every like you can we can go to we can go to europe we can go you know we can go to asia and and there's bar there's a there's gonna be a barbecue restaurant there that's gonna say texas barbecue on mm-hmm. it you know what i mean yeah and that's that's just it's, it's wild that's funny too, cause, um, there's um uh, my brother lives in cincinnati uh, and there's a place I can't remember if it's in Cincinnati side or in the Kentucky side. Uh, I think I want to say it's in the Kentucky side, but um, um, there's a there's a barbecue place there that is so it's Texas style barbecue, oh. and I was like, mm. nah, is <laughs> it? I was like, no, it's not. No, it's sorry. We went, <laughs> uh, and it was recommended by my mom because they had tried it out, and they're like, no, it's really good. It's really good. Mom. So we went, and uh, dude, it's pretty legit, almost, uh, almost to the T. You know, like that's awesome. I mean, it's, okay, so you get that now, like, and and but I, the thing is, the guy apparently the story was because my brother walked in with a Bucky shirt, and he's like, "Oh, I know Bucky's." Uh, so we got into talking to him. He spent time in Houston to learn how to how down here in Texas how we do things, uh, and then he took it over there, and so. Sounds about right. 
No, man. I mean, whether whether they're coming down here to learn or whether they're figuring out on their own, like I just think I just me personally, I just think it's really neat that I can go almost to any state in our country and there's going to be a barbecue restaurant that's going to say Texas barbecue. Yeah. But I always feel like it's not going to. I mean, I don't know. I haven't like it's not going to be the same. I know what you mean. Yeah, right. But I know what you mean. This one, this place was pretty, pretty <coughs> legit. Um, there is, there is a couple out there that are very, very, um, very, very good, man. You know what I mean? That yeah. that uh, represent us well and do an amazing job. So going along the lines of like you know getting higher in your own supply, I know I already said that. But um, what I'm uh, what I'm thinking of too now is, you know how growing up, well at least my mom, one hundred percent is always like. She won't eat out at a Mexican restaurant because she says, for Mexican, you know, I can make Mexican, it I make caso. Yeah, for Mexican, I have it at my house. Um, it's crazy to think how popular barbecue joints or restaurants uh, get um, because, you know, everybody in Texas, everybody's proud of their own, like the stuff I do in my backyard. Uh, oh, right? man, dude. Opening up a barbecue restaurant in Texas. That's what that's what I'll say. But it's popular. Like every people, one hundred percent. We will sit, we will sit outside of, of of the of the places that sell out, starting at six in the morning if, if right. we need to. Right. Um, right. But even though we can cook at home, right. we know how to do it. Right. But it's not. It's not the same. It's not right. Right. But but it's. it's it, but it's funny you say that to to touch on that. Like when we first opened up. Like I mean, dude, I've had guys come up to me and they're like i can cook a better brisket uh, i bet you I can. <laughs> and and i and feel like i know some of those guys <laughs> <laughs> it's fine some of those guys are my deals you know what i mean like, <laughs> and it's like uh it's like I told, so this this one guy came up to me one time and he was like he goes this is okay he goes i could do better i said well sir i said no one's stopping you <laughs> no one's stopping you from doing what you got to do i said i said i'll do you one better i said the moment we sell out I said, you can bring your business, put it right here in my parking lot, and you can sell all the briskets you want, sir. Oh. I said, no, 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 no. I said, you can do it better. Come over here and do it better. No, I never showed up. Huh? I mean. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's like, I, I can probably do one better. Right. I can probably do one brisket better. And, and I'm not saying I can either. I'm not, I'm not right. going to even go in there. But if I was like that, I can say I can do one better. Uh, can I do two better? Can I do three? But can I do as many as you have down there? Right. Better? Nah. Right. I mean, who who knows? Maybe you can. Right. But that's the thing that I tell people. I'm like, dude, don't just. I get it. Like I get it. Yeah. You grew up making this. I know. I have my my deals are the same way. <laughs> okay. I get it. But can you do it at this volume? Right. And and the answer is right now you can't. Yeah. You know, so it's like it's like we're not doing one. We're doing twenty. We're doing forty. We're On doing sixty. Days. We're doing a hundred. We're doing you know whatever, whatever <laughs> the numbers are. I mean, there's barbecue joints making two hundred and fifty briskets a day. That's a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot. You know, but the, the thing to the point too is like what I'm, I can make one taste really good one day, and then when I make another one the next week or the next month. It won't come out the same. It might come out even better. It might come out worse. It might come out super dry. And then I have to pretend. I was like, no, they're all, it's all burnt ends. <laughs> no, I tried an experiment this time. <laughs> it, it, it's all burnt ends. All of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, it's it's uh, revolutionizing brisket. It's craft barbecue. <laughs> craft barbecue. <laughs> no, you had too many craft beers. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, that's, a, but to the point of that is like, it, 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 to to have a barbecue place in Texas, uh, I can see how how scary that is to to not have the money. You know, somebody else is putting their money in there, and then are they gonna show up? But we're gonna show up. We, I, and, and I wonder if we show up because we want to judge, and then and then we're sold like, oh, this is good. I'm gonna keep coming. So, so in the beginning. Um, we had a we had a couple people and they would come and they were like yeah this is ridiculous like I gotta wait in line you're sold out your prices are high um same people that kept coming back like if 
finally they tried it they were like this is great like we love what you're doing you know mm. and then so like it's really cool changing people's minds and things like that and watching that happen and stuff. Yeah. but yeah i mean and people get people get mad with the sold out bro with the sold out but it's because san antonio dude like growing up in san antonio th- that that doesn't exist like selling out anywhere didn't exist mm-hmm. like selling out didn't become a thing until maybe the past what eight years ten years something like that but i mean it was in san antonio like you can walk into any restaurant that you want at any given time that they were open and you're gonna get whatever it is that you wanted mm-hmm. you know um it, well and it's uh, i would never i never would even think about lining up to a restaurant um uh, and i want i'll name this one because there's no hiding it um since franklin's yeah you know uh yeah. any, anybody else like i'm not gonna line up for nobody's restaurant yeah. you know if they don't have it they don't i don't need to eat it still to this day people line up man i did it uh not too long ago sometime late no uh november september somewhere that's a- i just recently as of that uh, it's it. it's um it's impressive man it's amazing i mean he's been he's been hand jamming since 2009 I don't know what that means. Hand? Well, t- t- well, he's been, he's been, he's been doing what he's been doing okay. since 2009. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and I mean, there's been lines since then. Yeah. Like t- 2009. Since crazy. 2009 to now, and it's just, it's impressive, man. Like what that what that man has been able to do is impressive. But not only that, he also paved the road for us, right? So like he opened up this, this whole entire new, uh, door to to craft barbecue. Yeah. Or whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean? Barbecue, it's just barbecue. At the end. Yeah, no, but that's uh, that's what I'm uh, <clears throat> getting at. Like, I've I've never even thought about that of lining up for. I will line up for tickets for a concert, before, you know, but not for food. But well, okay, so okay, but we kind of do. Like, remember going like if you go to any restaurant well, and they're like, hey, there's a f- hour wait. Yeah, I guess so. They just have a waiting room. That's the only yeah. difference. Right, but you're still there. You're still you're but still I'm not showing up in the queue. They open. No, <laughs> you know, no. showing up with no, my lawn chair. My, you're not. My yeah, th- th- that is true. That is a hundred percent eating breakfast true. while I'm waiting to go eat. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool though, right? Like, yeah. like it's an impressive thing how a barbecue did that, you know. And yeah. like now, there's other, you know, there's other, there's other restaurants that, that that happens to. But yeah, you're right. I mean, barbecue is that one thing that people people show up two hours before you open. Mm. They bring a chair. You know, I had a. Uh, we have this customer and every barbacoa Sunday he'll come and he pulls he's he's a part of a jeep club and he'll pull in with his jeep he opens up the back of his jeep he has a full mimosa, mimosa bar back there and they just start drinking they sit down they get their lawn chairs it's it's really really cool Dang. yeah and they do that where they do that at 2m oh, uh, really? every every uh barbacoa Sunday uh, oh yeah because you don't yeah 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 um that, that's pretty cool yeah, it's actually pretty neat to yeah. see. You ever go out and, and yeah. enjoy what? Yeah, them? every now and then I'll go out there and they'll be like, "Hey, you want a mimosa?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah just <laughs> let me have one." <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, real quick before I forget, I know like everything <clears throat> I've seen you do, even when you're working and you're messing with the with the with the wood uh, and the fire, like no matter what you're doing or what show you're on, your hair is always on par. <laughs> <laughs> um right now right now my headphones are messing up your hair but um it's just something i I notice every like no matter what they're they're capturing you doing your hair's like like perfect i was like this guy i remember when i I know when i barbecue i stink uh you don't look like you ever stink by the way you look like you always wear nice clothes should have seen me yesterday (laughs) (laughs) but it's like it's like this guy does his hair to do barbecue like that's, that's <laughs> I, that either shows like how committed he is to putting out a good product or like i'm full I don't of know. himself he is. <laughs> no it's uh um sometimes i know ahead of time hey someone's coming or whatever okay mm. let me look somewhat decent you know what i mean but at the same time i um look man you catch me any other day like i I look like a janitor. Like I look like the guy that's 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 coming here to clean the floors and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Um, but I always try. I always try to at least have my hair done or something. Like, hey, go on, look look presentable. You know, look somewhat presentable. Yeah. And I mean, but dude, catch me catch me five hours later in that smokehouse. Yeah, you, you, you're, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna get that stinky dude that you're talking about. Well, I always wear a cap. I, I feel com- I feel comfort uh, com- comfortable in a cap, um, but. I always try to have my hair done too, but are you bald? 
Nah. Uh-uh. Have I'm you always worn a hat, though? I'm going to prove it. Yeah, fuck it. Prove it. <laughs> hey, dude, that's a good head of hair, bro. Uh, that's a good head of hair. By what I was... <laughs> I don't want to lose it. Don't <laughs> jinx it. Nah, man, we're we're already past that yeah. threshold, dude. No, no, but usually, like, I, if I'm throwing on a cap, I'm not putting any product in here. And it, but today, I was like, look, I don't want it to look all puffy and nasty. If yeah, this guy's gonna have his hair done right, <laughs> <laughs> so I put a little bit of product so it can look so like a little flowy in the back. So if you ever if you ever see me with a hat on, because sometimes I have a hat on. If you ever see me with a hat on, it's because my hair's gotten too long and I had just haven't gotten a haircut. Mm. Um, which my barber gets on my ass all the time about. He's like, "Why do you always wait three months to come back?" And I'm like, "I don't know, man." Like. You know, like, as much as I, don't get me wrong, one of my biggest fears in life is, is going bald. Oh, yeah? It's, I just, it's not, I don't, I don't think I would look good bald, so I always pray to not lose my hair. My wife lo- loves when I, I've only done it a few times, but shaved my hair completely. Like, she loves it, but it, I think it's because she says, like, I look like a cholo, and I think she secretly likes cholos. <laughs> I'm nowhere near a cholo. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you should do it. I come with the one butt. Just, uh, what, just getting home like that? I, I went to Castroville. So. Uh, <laughs> you gotta start using fool a lot. <laughs> nah, fool. <laughs> nah, fool. Um, but but uh, in my family, it was either it was one or two things. You grow a really nice beard, mm-hmm. but you go bald. I don't bald, have bald. that luxury. You will, you you're gonna go go bald, uh, or you keep your hair, but your beard isn't that good. So I'm I'm I, I I'm I come I'm okay. I'm okay with being like. Uh, not having a full beard. I see what you're saying. But a full head of hair. I will take it. I will take it. All my and cousins that are looking. Mira nomás. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> um, no, uh, my, my, it's funny because like uh, my dad's my dad's family and my mom's family they have they have full head of hairs, um, except for my dad's dad. My grandfather was completely bald. <clears throat> um, thankfully, I didn't I didn't inherit that. Um, so I'll take it, but. Yeah. Yeah, but man. it was just something I noticed, and, I was, and to me, I was like, if he's taking care of himself for just try. The, you know, to the, for this, then that that goes into the account of taking care of of the product that he's putting out in his restaurants. I do. I, That's how I, 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 I try. It. Well, thank you, thank you for that. I I appreciate that you noticed. Yeah. I really do. I'm. It sucks sometimes, but you have to, man. You got to take pride in yourself in order to take pride in your work, right? And yes, there are there are mornings. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, man. If I'm waking up at twelve o'clock midnight to go into work, I don't give a shit how my hair looks. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't give a shit what I have on. I'm just rolling out of bed sometimes. I'm like, I'm just putting on the first shorts I see, and I'm going in. Is it true that every month, is it true that you you would sleep at your smokehouse? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. two M's. Yep. Yeah the uh, the first year um, covered we, in smoke or what? yeah Dude, how did you survive that like I, I, it was okay so it was it's funny you say that because they would get rough sometimes um where 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 our cot was so that's where that's where all the smoke would travel to go out the, sm- the, the smokestack in the bottom of the smokestack we have a we have like a four inch hole that's where all the grease comes out of well from that hole smoke would come out of that mm. hole so as i'm sleeping it would just start coating and i would wake up and i'm just like oh fuck man like so much smoke but I, I after a while i'm like i don't care i'm just going right back to bed like it was it was wild me and joe had us we, we 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 had a schedule he would he would go to bed around 10 o'clock anywhere between 8 and 10 o'clock at night and he would wake up around 5 6 in the morning and then from there i would go to sleep for like an hour or two and he would just kind of watch the pits and just tend to meet for mm. what what for however long i would sleep and then i would just wake back up Dang. Well, it was wild, man. Yeah, was, exactly. like we would get there Wednesday, so like Wednesday we would get there, and I wouldn't go home till Sunday. Like we rigged up a shower, so that building had a shower at one point. Oh man! Right, like we 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 cleaned out the whole place, and I was like, dude, I think this used to be a shower. And sure enough, like you could see where 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 the connections kind of were. So we rigged up a PVC pipe concoction that we did, and then <laughs> we freaking we we had a shower, so yeah. we would shower every night and order whatever we could order at the time it was wild man like it was it was cool i remember the first time we went to texas roadhouse um because we would order food all the time because we yeah. couldn't leave and uh we went to I, I, I went to walmart one day and i just saw this little camera and i was like dude 
I'm going to buy this camera. And so I bought it and we propped it up on a pole and I would put it in front of the temperature gauge. And it had a, it had a, like a, like a wireless, I, I don't know, Bluetooth range or whatever that yeah. I can go. So we said, okay, let's drive all the way to Texas Roadhouse, which is in City Base, which is down the road. I was like, and if the connection makes it all the way, I'll just put the video on my phone and I can look at the temperature so I can see how much it's dropped. So that's what we did. Like, we would see how far we can make it to a restaurant and we would eat there and I would just have my phone with the gauge on there. Dang. And then, like, once it started getting real bad, I'd be like, all right, man, we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. It was wild, man. It was it was cool. It was cool. The things the the things we had to do at that time was was it was awesome. Um, and it it made me a little nervous when I saw that. That was uh, more like obviously I know you're fine now, but I was thinking the the thought process that went to my head when I heard that you were sleeping in the smokehouse I was like, damn, that's like like sitting in the garage with your car on, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thankfully, I have screens, right? So the smoke uh, yeah, guess, dissipates so, right, out yeah. that way. But, yeah. If it was a, yeah, if it was enclosed, man, I would we wouldn't be talking right now. Yeah, yeah. So like in college, it's probably I don't know. get comfy, man. Get comfy. I feel fat when I do this. Why? I have to select this. I'm fat too, dude. It's all good. Nah, don't be that guy. <laughs> Look, man. The way I see it is, I used to, I used to do that too, right? You're just like. No one, no one, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah. If I cover, if I cover my stomach, nobody knows I'm, I'm like, fat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody, nobody pounds. can see my double chin either. <laughs> that's, that's why I don't shave <laughs> my stupid beard. Uh, nah, man. No, no, man. Get, get comfy. Dude, we should have done this, this a long time comfy. ago. Why did we do this? Now we can, like we're cl- coming closer to the end, and I'm like, I could go another hour or two. <laughs> it's a nice couch, right? Yeah, it's, a super it's comfy. It's comfy, couch. I know. I know. My wife picked it out. It's nice. I like it. <laughs> Dude, if we go too hard, that's a <laughs> Just cameras is rolling. Um. How great would that be? <laughs> we just pass out. <laughs> so yeah, and then and then they just fucking passed out for forty nine minutes. <laughs> they came back. They came back. <laughs> what were we talking about? You come back. <laughs> hey, levántate. <laughs> we're the working way. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, fool. We're working, fool. <laughs> My hair's shaved. <laughs> He said he you know wanted, what? He said he wanted to. If we ever, if we ever get drunk together, yeah, your hands gonna get shaved, bro. <laughs> I won't fall asleep. I won't fall asleep. <laughs> your wife's gonna thank me in the morning. Oh man. Uh, but now, nah, uh, where were we? <laughs> I was gonna say a dumb story, but <laughs> tell me. Well, it's, well, it's, it's uh, it has to do with like the sleeping and the smoke and all that. Um, when I was in college in my dorm room, my dorm room. I don't know if it caught fire or or what happened, but there was, like, smoke all over the dorm room. And I guess everybody got out, but they forgot I was in there. And I was just knocked out, like, asleep. Just, just asleep. And Hang on, it was legit on fire. I don't think it was, like, legit on fire. I think there was, just like, something was on fire, but it was like engulfing everything in smoke. Okay. Um, and so everybody got out. And they're all like waiting, and then I think my roommate or somebody was like, "Hey, where's George and, or Jorge?" Like, what you know, everybody calls me George because it's easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, he's like, "Where's George? Where's George?" And uh, they're like, "Oh, dang! I think he was asleep." So they went back and woke me up. Uh, and <laughs> Damn, heavy like, sleeper! Uh, I was yeah, I was knocked out. Um, and <laughs> I was like, "What's going on?" And I see all this. It's like. Is it smoke in here? I was like, dude, who's smoking? You guys and getting high? Yeah, I thought somebody was. Well, I mean, there's a few guys in there that were, you know, will partake. And I was like, dude, who's, who who hotboxed my my dorm? Dude, that's messed up. I'm like, no, it's on fire away. Let's go. <laughs> and it's like, gets up and like we run out. And well, we don't run out. Like we casually, like everything was casual. Like we got out and we're all standing around. It's like, oh yeah, the fire department's coming. And they're gonna figure out what was wrong. I said, like, oh, "Okay, well, are they still serving breakfast in the cafeteria?" <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah." I was like, "So we went to go eat. We went to go eat in the cafeteria. We're sitting there, and I tried to like, yeah, I went for my first bite, and I couldn't swallow. I got, like, I just couldn't like pass. Oh, anything. you had inhaled too much. I guess so. And I didn't know at the really? time. I don't know what was going on. And I just felt like I was choking. And I spit the food out, and I'm like, "Dude, I can't, I can't." 
And then I started freaking out. Like I couldn't drink water or anything. And really? I was like, yeah, and I ran back to the fire <laughs> the fire department was there so or the EMTs was like, I can't breathe. <laughs> I, can't, I can't breathe. I mean I can't swallow. I can't they're like, What? <laughs> I was in there. And so they told me like <laughs> I was in there. I, I saw the it first hand. <laughs> I saw stuff. <laughs> so they they were like just they put an oxygen tank on me and I was like, dude, you're gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna be able to eat, bro? They talk bad shit about you oh, when yeah, you yeah. left, dude. They yeah, were like, "Look at that guy." Pinche just scared. <laughs> he wanted to eat. <laughs> no, it's not that you. Can't. <laughs> not that you can't breathe. You're fat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can't swallow because you have a. Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, acid reflux. <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. That probably the story is not even pertaining to anything. <laughs> but it just that's what I was thinking of when I when that's I awesome. heard that you were sleeping in the smokehouse. I was like, oh, it took me back to that place. Love you. <laughs> if you ever if you, next time you're around, I'll, I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you a picture right now too. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool, man. Sometimes I forget about. The, so um, my landlord at the time, uh, the building right next to us, he he used to sell mattresses. So that's where we got our first mattress from. He came by and he was like, "Hey, he goes, here's a mattress." He's like, "He's like, because, because at first we were we were sleeping on the floor, oh, right? Like we just threw blankets I'd ra- down. I'd rather get smoke inhalation, bro. We just on the we floor. just threw blankets <laughs> down and like cement floor. I was like, I didn't care, bro. You know how it is. Yeah. He's just like, fuck it, we're roughing <laughs> it out. And finally, he came. He goes, "Boys," he's like, "Come on," he's like, "What are you doing?" And I was just like, what what we need to do? <laughs> and he's just like, no. He's like, here's a mattress or whatever. And then me and Joe went to Walmart, and uh, we found a cot. And I was like, all right, let's put the mattress on top of the cot. And I was like, let's let's buy some blankets, let's buy a pillow, and, you know. And then yeah. we made it comfy. Yeah, man. It was nice. That's good. That's yeah. crazy. The stuff the stuff you have to do like as a business owner. Well, I mean, yeah, man. It's it's the things people don't see or like you know. It's just. It's what separates. It's what separates yeah. us from everyone else, right? It's we, like you gotta be, you gotta be a little, you gotta have a couple loose screws in your head, dude. You yeah. want to be an entrepreneur, you really do. I would, yeah, I would have to, yeah, because I, I think about that all the time, and the fact like there's a lot of us out there that hate our nine to five, or very much dislike it, or even if if we don't hate it, we have a dream that we can do something else for ourselves, mm-hmm. and the it's it, it i always think i always think like yeah if i'm working for my own then i don't have to wake up at five in the morning and then get home at six and there goes my day and i'm like no you would have to probably work more than that 100 percent. you know 100 percent. um but i tell people all the time like uh if you like what you're doing though like if, if that's just something that people want to do you and, and and you really truly like it then it's not really working and it's not really like Oh, I go in at this time and get out at this time. Right. It's more like I go in, I gotta do this, and I'll get and I gotta get done with this, and then go home. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's no longer living for the weekend or the next holiday break. No. It's just like you know. Uh, and I, I can I, I have a normal day job still, but the only thing I can kind of attribute to it is that when I'm here, like when I'm recording, like this, I forget what time it is. Uh, and I what's hear going you, on. Yeah. Uh, when I'm editing, like it's just I forget what's going on. Like um, that's when I have to remember. Oh, my son needs to eat. <laughs> it's like, it's like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put pause on this. You ever, you ever, you ever think about doing like live podcast? That has to be wild, right? That has to be like you gotta really be. You gotta be uh, like yeah. okay. Don't fucking say that. <laughs> I um I haven't not for mine not for my podcast just because. Uh, I usually want to respect what the the guest wants to say and wants to cut gotcha. out. But I have been on other people's podcasts where it's live, mm-hmm. and half the time I'm like, dude, what are you guys saying? You know this is live, right? <laughs> it's like uh, it's like in my mind, I'm like, I I I know when well, there's a time and place. Like I, there's, a, there's a time and place for everything, and I don't know if this is a time or place <laughs> for that. There's cameras rolling. <laughs> Dude, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I do worry about doing podcasts sometimes, right? Like, I'll be like, okay, I got to do podcasts. Like, uh, you know, but don't fucking be careful what you say or whatever. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'll go off the rails sometimes, <laughs> man. Like, sometimes I'm just fucking, ah! Mm-hmm. And it's not, it's not anything bad. Yeah. But, I mean, somebody could take it as bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you never know. And things like, especially if it's live. Yeah. Sometimes no, when it's, it's live, it's, yeah. When it's edited, you can be like, 
the next thing like hey man don't don't put that part that i said i've done that yeah. like the next like, <laughs> they'll leave and i'll be like that's nice and i'm doing stuff i'm like i shouldn't have, i shouldn't have said that <laughs> <laughs> don't don't put that up please <laughs> yeah. i'm like uh, um yeah I've, I've only had a few that people are like oh can you cut that part out uh and then i've had one that's like can you just take it completely down and i was like no you said no no damn I did fuck it, it. Hey, i did do it that's I, really nice of you didn't have to but that's really nice of you i was i was like this is the one and only time i'm gonna do this uh um, no, i don't know how come you didn't want to just out of principle i, I didn't want to because you lose the views and you lose the listens like the downloads like if you take it down um and you went out of your way man yeah well yeah and, and i like the time i took to edit it and all that um but i i don't know i respected the person they were nice about it that's awesome man yeah so it's really really cool but never again never again <laughs> i better not hey, hey, hey i better not fuck up <laughs> no 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 uh, but enough about me uh, this, this is all probably gonna get edited out <laughs> enough about me <laughs> um blue lace let's go back to blue lace i came here okay um i um have you been here before mm -hmm. or is this your first time here no no no, no, no. yeah yeah yeah. that's right that's right I, you told me yeah that's when i said follow me back <coughs> here and no, i'm just kidding i didn't say that <laughs> i think you kind of already followed me when i came <laughs> um now i came and i was I, 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 I um tried um this place i tried your wife's place uh but i came incognito because i didn't want to be like I don't know. I feel weird. They're going to be like, that's that fool right there. That's that Yeah, it's too fast, too, 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 too hard, too fast. Ah, Holmes. <laughs> no, treat me like anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> treat me like anybody else, Holmes. <laughs> I put on my pants one leg at a time. <laughs> this is a... This is, uh, this is, uh, it's gonna sound like a like braggish, right? But like one time this person came up to me, like, "Can I have your autograph?" And I go, "Yeah, yeah, for sure." And just uh, like a barbecue fan, yeah. and I go, "Hey," I go, "You know, I put my I, I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like you do, huh?" <laughs> and they're like, "All right, thanks." And they left. I did it for me. I did it for my own. Bro. I was like, "What a fucking what a douche thing to say." <laughs> And I loved it, bro. They left. I was <laughs> cracking. I was like, I was like, that guy's gonna go up and tell me, like, fuck that guy, dude. Man, that guy, that guy makes briskets like anybody else. <laughs> now he doesn't, bro. <laughs> um, oh man, that's what I was. I had one. I don't. I well, I had one recognize uh, like when somebody recognized me. Um, they're like, oh, too hard, too fast. I was like, yeah, but I was already like too hard, too fast. <laughs> Like I like I, I I thought the conversation went well, but I, the next morning I feel like nah, I don't think it was. I don't think it went well. <laughs> dude, that's that's happened to me, right? Like, well, I imagine for you, you do you. You're it's everywhere. not. It's not. It's not all the time. It's, it's, yeah. it's not all the time. But y yes, every now and then it does. Or at least people come and I think like, oh, is this I will hear? Like, <laughs> like no, no, no. This was like this was like uh -oh. we were like on the Saint Mary Strip or something. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay. I'm going too hard too yeah, fast, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And somebody like it's great and they're like, Hey, you're you're uh, that guy from, from 2M and I'm just like, Why? <laughs> Why? Like, dude I'm like, Yes, yes I am and at that moment you're like your inner self and your inner kinda sober self is like, All right, dude, get it fucking well, together. together. Get it. <laughs> you're fine, you look good. You look good, you're good. <laughs> no, how's, how's it going, man? And the next day you're like, What the fuck happened, bro? That's how I felt. I felt like I was like I was, I was like, all right, all right, get it to go. You're good, you're good. And the first thing I said, blah, yeah, blah. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I mean, dude, don't get me wrong. I love it. I'll talk to yeah. anybody that wants to talk to me. But, dude, if you're coming up to me at a point that you know, don't, don't, don't judge. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> but, no, I would imagine, like, people want, like, if they're coming to Blue Lace here, they're going to 2M, um, like, they're, like, at least I was thinking. I was like, oh, maybe I'll see them there. Um, it's it's tough sometimes, right? Because if I'm not here, I'm over there. If I'm not over there, I'm over here, yeah. right? And if I'm not at either one, I'm at bait. And it's like, yeah. And then every now and then, I'm like, fuck all of them. I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna to go <laughs> over here by myself. I'm at home. Um, but no, look, uh, the the food was the food was amazing. And Thanks, it's man. funny we've gone through this whole episode and and barely even talked about the food. The food is amazing. Thank you. Um, uh and and the people were super nice like, like we came in there's some places some barbecue places that they just like they're they're rushing um and also they 
they expect you to already know how much half a pound of brisket is and how much where i'm like what does it look like i know is there is is, is a pound of brisket enough to feed me you know <laughs> like <laughs> so like, well it's funny right because <clears throat> we're used to like bill miller's right so like a pound of brisket at bill miller's is gonna look way more than a pound that you get at at two M, right? Because they cut it differently over there, right? And they get you more slices. But mm-hmm. it's like I tell people, I go, doesn't matter how you cut it. A pound is a pound. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. And sometimes people are like, "Well, how many slices is a pound?" And I'm like, "Well, depends where you're getting it from." But sometimes four slices, sometimes five. That's not it. That's not a pound. I'm like, I have a scale right in front of you. <laughs> like, Dude, that's I'll me. zero it out. I'm I'll a- put it again for you. <laughs> You're talking about those people? I am those people. I am those people. But I know. I'm like, it's like, a, and it's always that. I'm like, I'm like, you, that's a pound, bro. Yeah. I'm like, just because you're, and I go, you, you yeah. just want to eat more coming around. Yes. I'm like, shit, dude. Well, I'm like, I'm going to have to share this. Oh. But even though I'm a, I'm a smart guy, I know that a pound is a pound no matter what. You know, a pound of feathers is a pound of rocks. You know? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's a good i like that that's good i like that i had a I had a family come by yesterday they were they were from california they were they were visiting and um i was like yeah like uh, what do you guys want like um he was like well you know there's four of us like what do you recommend i was like um i could throw down a pound if you want they're like oh no 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 we're we're from california you know we we eat proper servings I go, well, you're in Texas, bro. <laughs> I said, so. I go, here, we fucking eat whatever the hell we want. Yeah. However much we want. I said, if you haven't walked around and noticed. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, man. Uh, um, yeah, a pound, a pound ain't what it used to be back in my day. <laughs> Neither is- do you remember? This is so. It's gonna sound so fat. But uh, I remember when uh, I noticed a Big Mac wasn't fucking big. <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, yeah. "What happened to this <laughs> thing, dude? Yeah. They used to be like this big." Yes. So I remember. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm. I'm got into that age too. Like uh-huh. I used to make fun of like like my grandparents or like uh, older people. Then I would never make fun of my grandparents. <laughs> know what you uh, mean? But I would make fun of older people. It's like. No, nah, it's not the same as the way it used to be. And I'm like, now I'm getting to that. that. Yeah, it's not the same as it used to be. But it's like, it's because I'm just trying to be fat. Like, I'm just like <laughs> even though I'm trying not to be, I'm trying not to be. But when I'm it comes down to like, when it comes down to like coming to places where you're ordering by the pound, I'm like, I look at my family like, oh, I'm going gonna, gonna to share with you. Are you going to eat? Are you going to eat brisket? Because I'm going to have more. I was like, are you going to eat some sausage? I was like, I think the, the, the ladies... It was like a pound serves three to four people, not these three or four people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, but you're good, man. Look at you, bro. Thank you. I accept you're all fucking compliments. Good, bro. <laughs> you look good, man. Hell yeah. I am the worst at taking compliments. It could, it, it's them. fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> look, because because there's 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 sloppy and then there's put together. You know what I mean? They're I'm both a fat. I'm They're, a It's okay. Well, right now you look good. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. the shoulders, bro. It's the fucking shoulders. Oh. Look at that shit. No. <laughs> Linebacker and shit. It's not bro. about me. The focus is not about me. <laughs> <laughs> right? I switch it around. No, no. So tell me about your job. Let, me, let me talk about your food. No. <laughs> and I'm trying to compliment your staff. Your staff I'm trying is to hijack awesome. your podcast. Right no, no, you totally can, but this is this is awesome. Uh, I, I do I do want to compliment the part the, the staff. Thank you. The staff was super, you know, helpful. They let me. They, what I was getting at is that they let me realize that a pound is a pound. You know, and they they walk me through the steps of even just from from the sides. I like that here, you order your sides first. I like that a lot. Yeah, because uh, then because then when we get to the meat part, I'm just like, okay, I can get a little. I don't okay. want to go too hard too fast. So that's okay. That's, so full disclaimer, right? I I shouldn't even say this, but oh, don't that's say why. It. Well, that's why I did it. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I I I feel like I feel like. Um, we take we take pride in our sides, right? And sometimes they'll get neglected because because you'll go too hard, too fast on the meat first. Mm. So by the time you get to the sides, you're like, ah, I, don't, I don't got time yeah. for that or whatever. You know what I mean? Unless you have kids, then it's like, yeah, give me some macaroni mm. for the kids or whatever. You know what I mean? But if I switch it, then that's what happens, right? Like you'll be like, oh yeah, get the sides first. And by the time you get to the meat, you're like, you know what? I won't go so hard on the meats, which is fine because profit margins on sides are a lot better. Mm. 
as opposed to 2M where it's reverse. You got to get your meat first and then yeah. everything else. People are like, nah, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> just like, all right. No, nah, but I, I, I do like that. And I like that it's it's it wasn't pushy. Some places are pushy and they try to get you out or get you through the line as quick as possible while you're still trying to decide, can I afford this meat or not? No. Um, it will, first of all, I'm, 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 I'm glad that, that, that my staff... Um, does what they do i have i have a phenomenal staff man um my staff at blue is i oh i'm blessed to have them my staff at 2m likewise um but but we're talking about blue right now so it's i i told him that right because it's like i told him i go look <clears throat> we don't we don't do this in the back right we do it right in front of the customer mm. so this is an experience for them just like it is for you i said whether whether there's a hundred people in line or whether there's ten people in line, I said give each and every person um, your attention while they're here. Like, it's a weird balance, right? Because you have to you have to be able to give customer service while kind of moving them along. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it's like I tell them, go. Don't ever make people feel like you're just like they're just a number. Like come in, yeah, just go, go, go. Like no, yeah. no, no, no. Give them look. They waited in line. You have no idea how long they waited. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they're coming here to spend their hard-earned money on our food. Give them a good experience. Yeah. Because That's it's 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 an all-around thing, man. That's what I love about barbecue. You know? Yeah. I don't know. No, it is. It brings people together. Barbecue has always done that. You know, like carne asada. It's always, it's always brought people together, but I've always hit it, and I, I try not to go to those places when, when I feel... And maybe it wasn't... You know, everybody has a bad day. It probably was like that, but... I found I found places like that, and no matter how good their barbecue is, I just try not to go. Uh, but customer service sets the tone, man. Yeah, but that's that's definitely not the case here. You know, I saw it for me firsthand, and I saw it to like the people that were in front of me and behind me, and I, you know, I, I really appreciated it. Even when we were out there, like it just it just seemed like it's I, I like the place. Thank you. Um, you know, whether you <coughs> sit inside or outside, the outside area is very casual it looks like you might even have stuff for like live music we do we have live music every friday and saturday for now nice yeah it's good man it's uh it's different um we structured it differently we modeled it differently um that's why i changed the name <clears throat> i wanted Casherville to have its own right like 2m belongs to san antonio 2m mm. is san antonio and i wanted i wanted to recreate something different and i say i i look at it like h-e-b like uh Wherever there's an H E B at, they model that H E B based off of their community. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's kinda how that's that's what I envision going into this. That's why my H E B only serves Bud Light and Miller Light. <laughs> Budweiser and that's it. He's like, dude, where's the craft beers? <laughs> what? Chingles. <laughs> Man. Do you want beer or do you don't want beer? I don't want that beer. You're like, no, I don't want beer. I want I, I don't want water. I don't want water. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I, I, I used to have a deal. I used to have a deal, right? He'd be like, "Don't get the butt light is water." He goes, "Get butt ice." <laughs> I go, "Okay." He goes, "Put a little bit of lime in there." He goes, "It tastes like a fucking Corona." <laughs> I go, "You gotta stop lying to yourself." <laughs> I go, "Go buy Corona." He's like, "I'm gonna do." He's like, "I don't got that kind of money." <laughs> oh man, but no, man, but yeah, yeah. No, no, uh, <laughs> And uh, the cool thing about this, uh, um, like I said earlier, we were we're gonna be talking to your wife, um, in a, in a, in the next episode uh, for baked, and baked is right next to it, and uh, right next to Blue Lacy, and so you can get get your meat, get uh, and and I had to be like, nah, I'm not gonna go too hard, too fast on it, cause I don't wanna get full, cause I'm gonna go over and, and get some pastries. <laughs> And I'm not the biggest like sweets person, but everything online looked delicious. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to try to get one of everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried. I tried. <laughs> I tried. You didn't have to, but I'm like, are you like, ah, I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it. The only thing that was disappointed that I didn't get was the, I guess it looked like toaster strudels or pop tarts. I there wasn't any. Uh, also, I showed up late because I you know. <coughs> genuinely a lazy person so i woke up late <laughs> <laughs> i love i love how you embrace this shit i love it dude <laughs> oh, but uh they were already gone when i got here but uh dude everything i got was amazing so you know but that's for her episode oh, Jesus. your doctor's gonna get mad at you man huh doctor's gonna get mad at you oh for sure good thing they don't watch this <laughs> um you go in right yeah 
They're all, sir, uh, I'm, I'm one of your biggest subscribers. <laughs> Notice. You were having, you were having some, <laughs> some beers and you were getting, you were getting pastries. Sir, come on. That's exactly what we told you to stop doing. <laughs> um, but no, like, so uh, I will definitely leave all the compliments that I have for her and her, uh, her pastries for her episode. Yes, because well, we're not going to talk about her because she's not here right now. She's not on the podcast. She's not on the podcast right now. But she will be for the next episode. Um, but again, I, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your food. Um, uh, I appreciate your friendship. Oh, man, for sure. Why not? Well, why not? What, I mean, why not? You're on camera. You, are you are, we, are friends, you right? i mean why I wouldn't know. i mean well that's that's how guys work right we don't have to say that we're friends we're just nah. friends. Oh, okay like if shit broke <laughs> off right now kidding. i got your back <laughs> I like, no, sorry i always like making it weird like that uh <laughs> we're friends hold my hand and say we're friends <laughs> um no no i mean I, you could you call me and and late at night, if you want, you know what I mean. Anytime you want to talk or whatever, <laughs> you up. <laughs> I am working on these briskets, man. What do you want? I am. <laughs> you know I am. What are you doing? <laughs> Going too hard, too fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no. Um, so Blue Lacy is located in Castroville. What's the address? Thirteen oh three Lorenzo Street, nice. Castroville, Texas seven. I don't know. This is good. <laughs> You know, it's Castroville. It's not hard to find. <laughs> um, I used to come through Castroville all the time. Uh, from Eagle Pass to San Antonio, headed to Austin. Um, so Castroville was always like, we're almost there. <laughs> That's what it used to be for me. It used to just be like the, we're almost there. We're almost there. But Castroville's been blowing up, man. Dude, it's... Like, uh, good. Yes. it's It's been just neighborhoods coming up everywhere right like if you come down 90 to 11 and stuff i think they just spent 57 million dollars on a on a on a whole entire development going on over there before you get into town right next to the walmart there's a whole shopping strip going up plus a neighborhood behind there and then just neighborhoods all the way down it's it's i mean cashville's growing man it's yeah. it's it's all growing coming out here i i, I was like you um I, I wouldn't pass through here but my parents would come uh Every Easter, we'd always come to Casherville to go to the park, and um, we would we would post up there and have barbecues there and things like that. So I've, I've been coming to Casherville for a lot since I was a kid. I feel but like somebody told me that once that they used to do that too. I mean, dude, it was it was a big. I mean, f- I mean that park would get full. I'm almost mm. certain it still does. Is it a big but park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really good sized park. It's called Regional Park. It's it's just right here, real quick. Okay. Yeah, they had like a they have a public pool and everything. So my parents would just be like, "Go go to the pool. We're gonna go over here." Stuff, right? <laughs> but I was a fat kid, so yeah. I was just like, "Ah, I'm gonna swim with my shirt on." I'm swimming my shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> one time, one time, this kid came up. He was like, "Why are you swimming with your shirt on?" I said, "It makes me swim faster." <laughs> Motherfucker got out, put on his shirt, and everything. I was like, "Ah, oh, man, dude, it's only <laughs> slows you down. More. <laughs> it's only slowing you down." Oh man. <laughs> oh. Uh, Thanks a lot. It's a lot, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, I used to I used to swim with my shirt on a lot, and then I was just like, and then one day mo. you didn't give a fuck. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, like, dude. Mo, yes. Let the punts out. That's what I love about getting older, right? Because people are like, sir, why do you like? Why do you? Why are you some some like? Why are you the way you are sometimes? And I'll be like, I'll be like, when you grow up, you have a you have a pocket full of fucks. Mm. I said, and as you get older, I said, you lose all of those, so you you, you stop giving them. Yes. Fuck. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. And um, yeah, that's weird. Every now and then, I still put my shirt on and I'll get in the water. I'm like, why? You know, take it off. It's all wet. (laughs) (laughs) I I agree, man. I'm like, I'm a grown man. I'm married. Get out of here. Yeah, Yeah, I'm overweight. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Learn to swim. (laughs) Learn to swim, and you can go in the deeper. The deeper end. Nobody sees the pencil. (laughs) You know how to swim? Oh yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> That's a red <random> question. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, too. How do you think I got here? <laughs> <laughs> My siblings didn't make it. <laughs> they didn't know how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted me to help us at doggy paddle. <laughs> no, man. I were uh, elementary. Thank you. Uh, field trip to YMCA. Uh, to learn to swim. To learn how to swim. That was a field trip when we were kids, man. 
It was wild. I remember yeah. the swimming instructor. I swear to God, it went down like this. All right, everybody, we're going to learn how to swim today. Line up. Dude, he lined everybody up. The instructor came down. He just started pushing kids. <laughs> <into the water. laughs> I was like, all right, here we go. Some of us didn't make <laughs> <sighs> yeah, just at the bottom of the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Sandra didn't learn to swim, but she learned to float. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that's. Oh. This podcast <laughs> definitely started weird and ended weird. Um. But uh, you're too hard to fast story. <laughs> <laughs> You're too hard to fast story. Um, What's a, it's a it's a funny st- a drunk funny story a funny story cautionary tale or words of wisdom, uh, whatever you feel comfortable sharing. Huh. Um, oh man, what's a good story? Or it could be something that happened at uh, well, like you guys were at two m and sleeping there. So okay, so that's that's what I was okay so. <coughs> One night, me and the wife, we were, we were out, uh, we were at, we were at a restaurant, and we went a little too hard, too fast, and, um, okay, I went a little too hard, too fast, right? My wife was the DD, mm-hmm. and <laughs> she was, she was driving, and um, I get a, I get a text message, and it's one of our cust, it's one of our, it's one of our customers. That happens to live in the area where two, where two M is at. Sorry, where two M is at. Well, he messages us and he goes, "Hey, just so you know, your your restaurant's on fire." Oh shit! Okay. And I was like, "What?" I was like, "What?" And then I was like, "Hey, babe, go go to the restaurant immediately, like right now, like get over there right now." And she was like, "Okay." And bro, I'm fucking, I'm fucking drunk, like, <laughs> I'm fucking drunk, dude, like. I was going home, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, go home, go to bed. That's yeah. it. And uh, sure enough, man, we uh, we pull up, we pull up, and there's there's three fire trucks, there's like five cop cars, and I'm like, holy shit, man, my restaurant is gone. And no, thankfully, no. But it's great because I got out, and like instantly, there's a cop there, and she's just like, "Are you the owner?" I'm just like, "Yeah." Like I'm in my mind, I'm like, "Oh God, dude, like get it together." Fucking firefighters are coming up to me and stuff. Sir, this is what's been happening. And yada, yada, yada. And did you know this was going on? I'm just like, no, no. And the whole time, I'm just like, what is happening, man? Like, um, the tree caught on fire. So what happened was my guy <clears throat> put took the ashes out and he left them in the bin, but he didn't water them down because we always water them down. Mm. He didn't water them down. So some of them got out. The problem is there's wood cages right next to the, right next to the, right next to the barbecue pit, mm-hmm. which is right next to a tree. Right, Dang, yeah. which so the wood pile caught on fire, which made the tree catch on fire, which made which the flames went into the smokehouse. Right, but the whole smokehouse is made out of metal. Mm. But there's cardboard boxes underneath the pit, so it caught the cardboard boxes on fire. Right, so the firefighters had to bust open the freaking uh, the door. They sprayed down the whole entire smokehouse. Like water was everywhere, man. Dang. It fucked everything up. I had I had briskets on the pit. Like, so I had to throw all that shit away. Dang. It was a whole fucking mess. And um, uh, I told my wife, I go, hey, I need you to talk to, I need you to talk to people. Like, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to chill over here. Like, I need you to fucking talk. She was like, okay. So she started talking to him and everything. And I was like figuring out stuff in the smokehouse. I was like, man, what's, what's gone? What's not gone or whatever. And thankfully, thankfully it wasn't anything bad, but we were two branches away from catching the patio on fire, which would have caught the rest of the restaurant on fire and it would have been done. Dang, dude, that's that's it's not funny at all. I thought you were gonna tell me a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I guess it's not funny. <laughs> I guess I just thought it was funny at the time. I was like, <laughs> "Ma'am, is the owner drunk?" Now he's in shock. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But uh, yeah, but that that was it. That's no, no, it was funny. That's a story I can think of right now. Um, I don't. Uh, yeah, it's because you you had me going in suspense, and this is my fault. I don't know why I was in such suspense knowing that the restaurant's fine. But I'm over here like, what happened to the restaurant? What happened? <laughs> I'm like, dude. <laughs> Nothing, way. <laughs> Nothing, way. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, dude. Oh, man. 
But nah, man, that's but where I was going with that. I mean, but also, you know, if if I could give anybody words of encouragement as well, like I just school doesn't breed entrepreneurs, man. Don't ever be afraid to follow your dreams, whatever, however ridiculous they are, or however you, rid, ridiculous your deals make you feel like they are. You know what I mean? Just do do what you want. Like uh, we only have. Dude, we only have one fucking life to live. And I get it. It, it. People are in different situations and things like that, right? But yeah. Just do it, man. Like, yeah. my, my, my whole thing, the way, I, the way I go about things, honestly, man, is I don't have a plan B. I only have a plan A. If I have a plan B, then I'm going to falter on my plan A because I have something to fall to back fall on. Back, but yeah. if I have nothing to fall back on, then I'm, I have to, it has to work. Yeah. You know what I mean? That makes sense. It's the best thing, that's the best, best advice I can give people. Don't have a plan B. Don't be a loser. Don't be lazy. It depends, bro. You're here <laughs> making a podcast right well, yeah, now. You know, um, yeah. I feel that you're only. Couch, though, I feel that I feel <laughs> that you're only lazy at the pockets of the day that you can be lazy yeah, yeah. in. You got to pencil in the. Lazy. You got to pencil in the lazy. Yeah. Well, sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> whatever happens, happens. Uh, sometimes you're like, all right, I've been lazy for nine hours. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lazy, I've been lazy for three years. <laughs> so, time to give. Time to get editing. <laughs> how long? How long has your podcast been going? Uh, we started well. Uh, twenty seventeen started. Oh yeah, uh, that's right. And then and then and then uh, the pandemic. You went. Yeah. yeah. Uh yeah. Twenty twenty. I went hard. What happened to your boy? He 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 stayed moved. He he's he moved around, um, <laughs> and it just he just got busy. Like got you. His plan B. <laughs> his plan B. Um, you know the plan B. No. <laughs> No, um, no, everything started. I'm familiar with it. <laughs> yeah, right. No, um, he just got doing his own thing, and he's doing very well. So, you know, he just did, did that, um, and I just kept going. I just I couldn't stop. I was like, this is the best thing ever. I get to meet people that are doing cool stuff. I appreciate and it, man. I, and Thank I, you. I, I, I love it. Like I would never be in conversations with people, you know, like this. And I'm learning, so yeah. it, it helps me. It helps y'all. It helps whoever's listening. It's no man, I was I was excited when when you told me I was like heck yeah man like I love it's especially like local you know what I mean like not that you're from San Antonio but mm-hmm. you're you're from I've San been Antonio. there I've been yeah, long, there been, long been enough been long I'm long one of y'all well I don't know if y'all are listening I don't know who's listening but whoever it is I'm one of y'all <laughs> <laughs> I know right I wonder who's gonna watch this um, I don't know San Antonio hopefully. San Antonio uh, let's start with San Antonio and let's go further where. I don't know. How far you want to go, fool? <laughs> no borders. <laughs> <laughs> that just gets well, why, hoes? <laughs> <laughs> no borders. <laughs> no borders. Uh. <laughs> Let them in. <laughs> <what> the <laughs> Let them watch. <laughs> <laughs> don't build the firewall. Don't build the. All right, now let's get it. Don't weird. build the firewall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, man. So where 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 can people? <laughs> Do you do you like growing your personal account, or do you like rather just grow your like Instagram? Or it, rather it, grow the, the businesses. It's okay. So it's funny you say that, right? If I can go back, I guess I would have grown mine personal a little bit more. Um, but I, I don't I don't focus on that stuff, right? Like it sucks because that's the way the world's moving. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But like to me, I, I never really I never paid attention to things like that. I was just like, yeah, let's just. It's just you know put the business out there and whatever. Looking back on it, I was like, yeah, I should have I should have focused more on my own brand. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I'm I'm happy. I'm, I'm I don't. The less followers I have, the less people paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> the less people that can find me on St. Mary's Strip. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. Well, with that said, like, where should people follow? Oh man, um, follow. No, please follow follow my personal Instagram, SO Ramos. Um, follow my Facebook page. Um, please follow, you know, Blue Lacey, Two M Smokehouse. Um, we we truly appreciate every single person that follows and things like that. Like I know you could be following anybody else and at the end of the day, my shit's gonna pop up on your feed, so I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, yeah. but yeah, you can you can follow me there. Um, Instagram or Facebook. It's all I have. I have a I have a TikTok but I don't I don't make any videos on it. I, I should be more active on it. I just got rid of it. Did you really? Well, the accounts do exist, but I just, I just took it off my phone, dude. It was, it was. It's lo- taking up all your time. It was no, it was, it was lowering my volume. What do you mean? Like uh, on my phone, like it w- apparently it only happens to Androids too. I'm not sure, but um, it would. Uh, I will be listening to like YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube, 
Me um, too. And it will lower the volume on it. Like randomly, I'll just be listening or watching, and then the volume will get low. It's the ghost. No. And um, back with maybe. You, no. And so I started finally like looking into it, and a lot of like the a lot of the things online it says it's 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 TikTok because of something they have in their volume settings or whatever that they're supposed to lower. I don't know what it was, but uh, they said get rid of it, and I got rid of it, and it hasn't happened since. Really? Yeah, but supposedly it only happens for the Android. I haven't huh. heard. I haven't heard it happening with iPhones. Crazy. But yeah, I don't. I have TikTok, but I'm hardly ever on it, man. Like in a month, I think I'll probably hit up TikTok maybe twice or three times. Instagram, yeah. I'm always scrolling in. And shit oh, like and that, I never really YouTube. opened it either. Like I, I would upload, and then it will go wild sometimes, or sometimes I won't. Uh, but I was like. Mm. Well, I mean, look, th- another reason I do that is because once I open up TikTok, man, like an hour, two hours, boom. Oh, yeah. You can like, you're just like, what the hell have I been doing? But, bro, humans are creative, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I get on TikTok, I'm like, who would have thought to do that? It's hilarious. Like, s- some of the stuff that we do on there, I'm just like. <laughs> yeah, man. That's me with YouTube. With YouTube, I'll spend forever on. Like, sometimes I'll, like, I'll instead of watching a movie, I'll throw it on the on the tv and i'll watch youtube me too me too i do the same thing too do you feel like youtube is not the same anymore though like uh youtube 12 years ago like i feel it's so much better like i feel like it would take you to like other things that would match what it is that you're watching and like it was just great and now it just fucking takes you to somewhere that it wants you to go to or something so i have yes and 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 i have Three accounts, and, and I'm being careful because uh, I don't want YouTube to take me down. Come out, come out. Come <laughs> no, no. Um, I have three accounts, and each account is very different on what I watch. Like, if I want to look up something that's going to be political or newsworthy, I'll uh, go into that one. And that one, I so like I can. It. So, like, the Too Hard Too Fast podcast ac- uh, account, <coughs> that one's where yeah, I get all my entertainment from. I like see what all, you're saying. Like any, any entertainment, uh, Mr. Beast or whoever. Whatever. That's where you get it. I don't know why I went straight to Mr. Beast, but that's the only person that could come <laughs> to my mind. But I follow all these like and other podcasters. Like uh, that's where I get it from. News and political. It's another account that I'd like. That's just for that because I, I like don't it. want it to like yeah, yeah. mess up with yeah. my, I got with my entertainment. Saying. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you get ready for that social credit score, dude. I like mm, it. I don't know. Yeah. You know which which Jorge is listening to what. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jorge, we noticed that you follow him. Yeah. yeah, I was like, no, you don't. No, no you that's, don't a, that's another Jorge. I don't no, know who that, that is. I'm George. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but with that said, Blue Lacy, come visit. Please. Food's amazing. Thank um, you. 2M is amazing. Thank you. Uh, you're amazing. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. You're amazing too, man, Thank if anybody ever told you that. I was waiting for it. That's the only reason I was I was fishing for it. I'm glad. I'm glad I got a hook, line, and sinker <laughs> on that one. <laughs> hey, go no. before we leave. Tell, tell me about this ring you have. Um, it's just I don't know. It's just um, I, it's from Canada. <laughs> For real? That's no, it, know. Is, it is from Canada. I like skulls, so I have, like I also have a skull tattoo right here. Oh, there's a skull in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I also like uh, like cactuses, cactuses and, and stuff. Like Hell yeah, plant, it looks like, cool. Like Texas plants. Like I have a tattoo here for my son, but it's like covered in like Texas plants, like okay. different wildlife. Nice. Uh, a wild wildflowers. Yeah. From Texas. Um, it's a cool ring. I, I, I was looking at it. I was like, it kept grabbing my attention. I no, yeah. Like, so I when I saw it, I was like, I have to get it. And it took me a while to save up for it, but then I was like, it's there. I love it's that mine. it's on your index finger too, bro. It's a, it's a, hey, it's a sense of power. <laughs> 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 Next time you see me, I'm going to have one. I have to drive a point. Dude, I'm going to see you. I'm going to go, Jorge. You sure, man? Because I will do like <laughs> <laughs> index buddies. Dude, it's a friendship for life now. For well, sure. I mean, dude, we're getting, we're going too hard, too fast after this. I know. I feel like this episode ended at like thirty minutes ago. <laughs> we're still <laughs> at this point. We're just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's in there, and she's like, "I wonder what time they're gonna get done." Yeah. Right, am I? Is my recording gonna go that long? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. I feel bad. Like, uh, um, uh, let me think of another question. <laughs> No nah, man, but this has been this has been great. No, no, this has been awesome. Thanks, man. Seriously, seriously. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. Um, remember what that said: "Dare to be you, dare to be weird." By that's a good saying, dude. Dare to be you, dare to be weird. That's Just cool. I like that. Cool.